If I asked you to name what comes to your mind when you think of Australia, what would you say? Sydney? The Great Barrier Reef? Scary animals? That big rock? What's it called? Chances are that at least some of you thought of a giant hopping marsupial. Kangaroos are endemic to Australia, meaning they're native to the land down under and nowhere else. Kangaroos, or roos as they're sometimes called, are interesting for lots of reasons, but we were shocked when we went to Australia by people's response about the best place to see them. The golf course. Crikey. We're the Farrells. John, Sarah, Emma, Matthew, Ellie, Alyssa, and Brooke. We sold our stuff and left our home to travel and see the world. And these are our million adventures. Our kangaroo adventure started in Sydney. We had heard that to really see kangaroos, you had to drive out to the country. So we rented a car and took a road trip down the coast of New South Wales to Jervis Bay. We made sure to stop along the way to check out the old Helensburg station, an abandoned railway tunnel that now is home to millions of glowworms. We stopped at several other lookouts and beaches along the way and even saw several pods of dolphins. Eventually, we made it to Jervis Bay and were rewarded with our very first wild kangaroo sighting. There, in the yard. Is that a kangaroo? I can't even see. It's a kangaroo. Yeah, it's a kangaroo. Kangaroo. There <laughs> he goes. <laughs> Just chilling in someone's yard. When we asked the owner of our Airbnb the best place to see more kangaroos, without hesitation, he said, the golf course. Sure enough, when we went to the local course only a minute away, there were kangaroos everywhere. This phenomenon is not special to Jervis Bay. All throughout Australia, golf courses are covered in mobs of kangaroos. The golfers don't even seem to take notice of them. And the roos, well, they couldn't look more comfortable stretched out on the fairways. But why? Why is the golf course the place to hang out? To understand this, we have to understand what a kangaroo eats. Kangaroos are herbivores. Their diet consists of grass, leaves, flowers, and other plant material, depending on where they live. They feel very much like the Australian equivalent of the deer we have in North America, foraging in fields and pastures of country. For a grass-eating marsupial, the nitrogen-rich fairways of a local golf course are like an all-you-can-eat buffet. For this reason, it's not uncommon for a course to be home to hundreds of kangaroos. So there are four different species of marsupial that are referred to as kangaroos. Although there are many other animals in the same family, like wallabies, for example, they're not called kangaroos, and the main difference is size. Kangaroos are much larger. So the most common of the kangaroos are the eastern greys, like the ones we're seeing here in New South Wales. Although the red kangaroo is also very, very common. They're just further out west. In popular culture, it's usually the red kangaroo that gets the attention. They're the largest kangaroo species, and an adult male can get up to two meters tall. Kangaroos have no natural predators, oh, except course. maybe dingoes in the more remote parts of the country. In fact, the largest killer of kangaroos is people. Kangaroos are very prone to getting hit by cars, especially in remote areas. A red kangaroo can cover 25 feet in a single jump and reach speeds over 35 miles per hour. Kangaroos can also only move forward. They can't back up. You can see how this would be a problem with roads. As fun as it was to see kangaroos on the golf course, it felt somehow like we were cheating. Although golf course kangaroos are definitely wild, we wanted to see them in a more natural setting. So we drove down to Murramurang National Park. There's a beach there called Pebbly Beach, with the reputation of being one of Australia's kangaroo beaches. The roos here are laying everywhere, and they're very used to people. 
They let you get up really, really close. It's really awesome. It's so cool to see these wild animals so close up. You have to remember though that they are still wild animals and under no circumstances should you ever feed them. up the day with a hike along the coast, passing through some beautiful bushland and eucalyptus forest. This was honestly one of my favorite parts of our trip. I love hiking. Hikes in Australia are referred to as walks and are a great way to discover pristine coastline and hidden beaches. This came to say goodbye to us. No food, sorry. <laughs> oh, this is the one you cut before, Sarah. It's got the lopsided ear. So did you know kangaroos liked golf courses? Neither did I. This was just one of the many surprises we had coming to Australia. Honestly, we love it here and can't wait to come back. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe. We'd love to have you join us on our million adventures. We'll see you next time. Are we there yet?